Hello. Today we look at the simple concept of conservation of mass. We've heard in the past that mass cannot be destroyed nor created. It is just transferred from one thing to the next. So we'll look at some samples of that concept. It states that the law of conservation of mass states that the mass is neither destroyed nor created, only conserved, transferred. For example, if I begin with 10 grams of something, of a substance, I must end up with 10 grams also, regardless of the reaction, whether I lost or, or gained something according to our vision, according to what we see, the reaction, the mass of the reaction, sorry, is the same as the beginning. Let's look at some samples. Sample one. In an experiment designed to separate carbon monoxide, a total of 25 grams of carbon were collected and 12 grams of oxygen was also collected. So if I ended up with 25 grams of carbon and 12 grams of oxygen, how much did I start with? Okay. The law states that I cannot gain nor create the mass. Therefore, if I start with 25 and 12, I must begin with, I must end, sorry, with whatever I started or end with whatever I begun. So I like to do my simple math. You know, I make a list of what I have and what I need. And I have 25 grams of carbon. I have 12 grams of oxygen. Simple equation states that I just had those two. Okay, and I began with 25 plus 12 grams gives me 37 grams of the compound. So I began with 37 grams when I broke them apart. I had 25 and 12. Add them up. I have the ending result. That's one example. Example two. A student placed 11.2 grams of potassium in a reactor and ended up with a total mass of 28, 25, sorry, 25.8 grams of potassium nitride. So I ended up with a compound, potassium nitride. And I started with 11.2 grams of potassium. Out of this 25.8, 11.2 grams were of potassium, which means that the remaining must be of the other substance. Again, I make my list. I have 11.2 grams of potassium. I have an amount that I don't know of nitrogen. And the compound, the combination is 25.8. So if my total is 25.8 and I began with 11.2 grams of one substance, then the other substance, the remaining. This is the math, simple math. 25.8 grams of one substance minus 11.2 grams of the other substance should give me whatever the other substance is. In this case, 14.6 grams. In this case, it's 14.6 grams of nitrogen. Okay, so to make things clear, 14.6 grams for nitrogen, 11.2 grams for potassium. When I add those two, I ended up with 25.8 grams of potassium nitride, which is the compound. I hope this helps you out.